This video is a follow-up to my previous gyro compass video. See the link in the description. In that video, I showed how a spinning flywheel will tend to seek geographic north when it's allowed to rotate freely in the horizontal plane. So here is the flywheel and motor that I've been using, along with its battery pack in this boat. And the reason that the spinning flywheel seeks geographic north is because the Earth is spinning. Now, commenter EFG test suggested an alternative hypothesis. And I want to explain that hypothesis and the experiments I've done to test it. So in, the, in my previous video, I showed the boat in a configuration where magnetic equilibrium was approximately west. So when the motor was off, the boat would settle into a position roughly like this. And then I turned on the motor and saw that the boat turned and it settled into a new equilibrium somewhere near geographic north, although not quite there. And so this alternative hypothesis suggests that somehow the simple act of having the flywheel spinning is inducing a constant torque to the boat. And that it's just a coincidence that it ended up pointing roughly north. Um, that it's, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with the spinning of the earth. It's just there's an extra torque induced by the spinning of the motor. And in fact, at the beginning and the end of the previous video, I showed how when you turn on the motor, the boat indeed starts to turn. In fact, it makes many revolutions. And the reason for that is the conservation of angular momentum. If I had put the flywheel in the boat like this, then as it starts spinning one way, the boat would spin the other way. Conservation of angular momentum. Of course, I've put the flywheel in in as close to a horizontal orientation as I can get it, but there's still necessarily some vertical component, so it still spins while the flywheel is speeding up one way and then spins the other way while it's slowing down. Now, in the middle of the experiment, the flywheel should be spinning at a constant speed, and therefore there should be no torque. But the battery is slowly draining of charge, so the flywheel is slowly decreasing in speed, and there is some torque there. And maybe there's some other source of torque that I don't know. So, we're going to test the hypothesis that there is some constant torque simply due to the flywheel spinning. And the way I'm going to do that is with four new experiments with magnetic equilibrium at different locations. And the way I'm adjusting magnetic equilibrium is by rotating the motor and, and flywheel. So experimentally, I've determined that this point here, the middle of the curve of the C, you know, this is a CE logo on this motor. When this point is straight up, magnetic equilibrium is approximately north. When I rotate the motor just a little bit so that the edge of the tape is up, then magnetic equilibrium is to the west. And when I take it the other way, so that the gap between the lettering is up, then magnetic equilibrium is to the east. Uh, and the one I first showed where it's north, that's as close to balanced as you can get just by rotating this motor. There's no orientation that causes equilibrium to point south, so that's why I actually have here this permanent magnet. So as it's set up right now, when I place the motor so that it's this point is up, magnetic equilibrium would be north, but because I have this permanent magnet added to the boat, it's south. So I've got all four cardinal directions covered, and for each cardinal direction I will of magnetic equilibrium, I will then turn on the motor and we can watch the results. Here we see time-lapse footage from all four experiments, sped up by 50 times. In each case, magnetic equilibrium is a different location. If the hypothesis is true, 
then the boat should turn some constant amount, for example, 30 degrees clockwise, away from magnetic equilibrium and then stop. However, we see that in every case, the boat turns toward geographic north, sometimes clockwise, sometimes counterclockwise. This shows that if there is a constant torque due to the spinning of the flywheel, it does not dominate the behavior of this experiment.